Hello. It is Tuesday, July 27th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday, so day two of the week and the second easiest crossword of the week, we hope. Um, I'm not going to, I think, review yesterday's puzzle because I don't remember there being any big points of clarification, which makes sense coming from a, a nice, smooth Monday. So why don't we just get right into the Tuesday puzzle? I hope your week has started off all right and that you are ready to dig further into it with a nice crossword. In this case, constructed by Jennifer Lee and Victor Galson and edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So, are we ready to get started? I would say that we are. Okay. A destination for a shopaholic. Uh, that's probably a mall. That would be the quintessential location of a shopaholic frenzy. I always found words like a words the suffix aholic sort of funny because obviously it derives from alcoholic, but the ahol is part of alcohol. So it's it's not as though we've we've introduced a, a suffix that means you like doing a lot of something. I mean, we've actually introduced a suffix that itself refers directly to alcohol as a thing that one is addicted to. Um, anyway, I've always just thought that's sort of odd. A friend in slang. Oh, I mean, it could be a chum. Could be probably quite a few things to dig into. Oh, it feels that that could be a few things as well. One from another world. Could be an alien. Best musical Tony winner of 1975 with The. Well, um, I wouldn't have known the year of this musical's release, nor would I have known that it won the best musical Tony, but with only three letters and starting with The, I'm going to go ahead and say that's The Wiz, which was a Broadway adaptation of... The Wizard of Oz, I guess. You don't say. You know, it's funny. The, the reason I paused there is because I realized I was completely incorrect with my first, what I, what I was thinking the first time, which was that it was maybe an adaptation of Tommy by The Who, the, con the rock opera concept album, um, which famously has the song Pinball Wizard. And I was thinking, oh, maybe that's the stage play of that. But no, it's, it's got to be The Wizard of Oz, right? Okay evasive. Um, could be a few things as well. A healing succulent. So a succulent meaning a sort of desert plant that requires very little water. I'm sure there's a more specific definition than that, but this is probably aloe. And a Hawaiian garland is a lei, a nec the necklace of flowers. A particular kind of flower that I can't bring to mind at the moment. Um, a mother with a stable home with a question mark. So this refers to a mother who may live in a stable. In this case, I think a mare. PC program ending, uh, exe executable. To inject new life into. Well, that looks like revitalize, and it does fit. So with that Z, I think that's what that's got to be. You don't say. Could be G, as in G E E, which <laughs> which would make friend in slang presumably a dog. A dog. You are the man now. Dog is this meaning, I believe. Dig into ah. So now we see with this D and the L, this would be delve to delve into. One from another world. I suppose it must be alien. Let's go back. Let's jump back up here because we have so much. Um, going for us here. Uh, all right, so if you fail to give a true impression of something, I assume here you belie it. In other words, a, a crossword's apparent level of challenge can belie its its uh, true depths and deviousness. Chinese steamed bun is a bow. And to go here and there is to rove. On these solves, I find myself roving to and fro across the length, breadth, and diagonals of this of these crossword grids as I search for the low-hanging fruit and struggle with some very obvious clues sometimes, like yesterday when I couldn't get that, uh, that uh, toot his own horn thing. All right, if one is not quite having enough money, one is shy, which might be what this is. Take a deep breath, ellipsis. So this is going to be a phrase, a spoken phrase, 
and it could be something try again or something something like that. But but let's look at this cross. B-52's hit named by Rolling Stone as the best single of 1989. Uh, this must be Love Shack. One of the strangest hit. I mean, I find that song fascinating. I think when I was really young, when I was a child, I found that song almost alienating because I found it so odd. But now I really appreciate it. Um, Mork's home planet on Mork and Mindy. Um, I think it's actually just Orc. I think it's just part of his name. Danjou for one. Well, there's the there's the Duke of Anjou. This is probably more obvious than I'm making. I'm sorry. Uh, lowdown info. If you get the lowdown on something, you get the information. Te okay, so here, look at this. We've got a theme. We are just absolutely awash in themes on the New York Times crossword recently, which I enjoy. Th themes are fun. So let's see. This says technology used by smartphones nowadays, or a hint to the ends of 16, 24, 44, and 57 across. So we already have one of the theme answers, which is revitalize. So what would the end of this clue, six, this answer, 16 across, be that would be hinted at by a technology used by smartphones nowadays? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm honestly not sure, but let's look around a bit more and see if we can reveal some of this, some of this theme answer. Um, a Swiss cheese feature would be a hole. Swiss cheese have famously have holes, which I don't think it originally did. I don't think that variety of cheese originally had holes. I believe that was sort of a, a defect in the creation of the cheese. And it ended up becoming sort of an iconic uh, element of that cheese. And now, as we know, it is ubiquitous in in that uh, particular, I wonder, Swiss cheese must have a more specific name than Swiss cheese in Switzerland, because I assume there are other Swiss cheeses, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, well, this does actually, now that we've got that one additional answer from Hole, this is really looking like face recognition to me, which is certainly a technology used by smartphones nowadays. Quite irritatingly, actually, in my opinion, given the the masked world we find ourselves so often living in these days. So old Apple image editing software, actually, I remember this from a clue just a week or two ago. It was iPhoto and it gave me some trouble because it referred to sort of defunct software. And I, as a, as someone who never used iPhoto was not aware it was defunct, but here we go again, old Apple image editing software. There's something sort of funny about topical clues in the crossword because it's, it's a, a clue being topical is very much dependent on um, you solving the crossword when at the uh, soon after the crossword was constructed. In other words, if Apple were ever to reintroduce iPhoto, which I, I don't, I don't think they will, but were they to do so, and then someone solved this puzzle in the future, um, this would be even more confusing. Um, not really a problem. It's just something you have to bear in mind if you're solving older crosswords. The topical clues. Um, you should remember to think about them in the context of the year in which the crossword is published. Oh, I, so let's see. So let's try and figure out what's going on with this face recognition. A hint to the end of this clue. Um, I mean, maybe this is because I've been trying to try my hand at cryptic crosswords recently. I do not think this is the answer, but I sort of looked at realize is, is sort of framing the, is the sort of bookends of this word and face recognition could be, could be, you think about recognition in the sense of realizing something, recognizing it, but not, not really. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry if you're seeing it. I'm sorry if you're seeing it and I'm not, and it's frustrating to you. I apologize. So bridge and highway designers, those people are engineers. Primitive boat, it could probably be a couple things. Let's look at the cross. Sailor's libation, that would be grog, a rum-based drink. Well, now it's rum-based. I don't know if it was in the sort of actually original pirating days of yore. Reply to yes, you are. Well, I am not. I am not quite as clever when it comes to some of these 
themes as I wish I were. Uh, a primitive boat, oh, and now we see it would be a raft. If one is not following one's vows, um, I mean, it sort of looks like infidelity or unfaithful. Yeah, unfaithful. Something is below, something else that is under it. Junior and senior, this refers to years in the American secondary education system. Uh, writer Jaffe, I'm not sure offhand, Strauss's Concerto in D major for blank and small orchestra. You know, I'm actually not sure offhand, but it kind of looks like it could be oboe. Um, a concerto, if you're not aware, a concerto is a oops, is an orchestral work with a featured instrument. So possibly in this case an oboe, but maybe something else. And typically what you'll find is in a concerto is that there will be passages in the music where the solo instrument will have an extended featured section, and that will really high often that will really highlight the skills of a particular uh, soloist of that instrument. Um, so that that's what a concerto is. Uh, ah, okay. So a cousin of a trumpet. That's nice. That's two instruments crossing. That's really, really, really nice. Uh, a cornet. So that probably is oboe. One who's done for is a goner. Uh, to be evasive is to be cagey. In a humble home, I suppose this means an abode in the in the idiomatic expression, my humble abode. Writer Jaffe, Rona, Rona Jaffe. That rings a bell, but I'm but I'm not very familiar. Kevin Once of SNL. This looks like it probably starts with E Nealon or something like that. And I think I recognize that name, Kevin Nealon. That sounds right to me. So what was this? Ah, Danjou for one pair. Yeah, okay. That rings a bell, although I don't know that I can tell you what exactly that variety of pair is all about. Take a deep breath. Uh, try to relax. Try to relax when solving the crossword. It is a contemplative activity. Should not cause you deep stress, even when it is difficult. A minimal lead in baseball. This is presumably one run. I'm not so inept when it comes to sports that I couldn't guess that. Bow wielding god. This would be Eros, the god of love, who would fire his arrow into uh, would be lovers. Rapper blank deaf. This would be most deaf. And so we can look here at the um, cross. Place to see Dolly, Ernst, and Kahlo informally. Frida Kahlo came up in a recent crossword. Uh, MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Excuse me. PDF, JPEG, and others. Um, those are file formats or image formats. I'm not seeing what is uh, extensions. I'm not seeing what that's doing at the moment. So let's keep going. To portion something out is to dole it out. 12 down on Espanol, year, that would be años, right? A-N-O-S. Tennis balls are usually sold in these. Um, must be threes based on what's what's available here. Uh, relative of a shanty town must be slum. Verdi opera set in Cyprus. Uh, this would be Atello, I suspect. Um, now let's look down here at this cross. Prefix with byte. Uh, terabyte, one would think. Um, and that's, that is adjacent here to this other computer clue. So another, just a nice little echo. This really does look like it should start with file. Let's look at the cross. Public Health Regulatory Organization. Yeah, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Um, so these are file. What is it? What are these files? What does this end with here? Blank Tuesday, translation of Mardi Gras. That would be Fat Tuesday. Uh, Gras for fat. Oh, file types, I suppose this is. All right. And then we've got a cross at the end here regarding as to. So regarding this crossword. As to this crossword, not too challenging today. Nays opposite. Nays opposite would be yay. And this refers to voting in a, in a parliament or Congress or something like that. Uh, start of a counting out rhyme. So this looks like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. I wonder what that, where that comes from. I haven't a clue. R&B singer with a hyphenated stage name. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I won't have to come back to it. Stevie Wonder's blank she lovely. Isn't she lovely? Certainly what that is. Yang's partner is yin. Yin, not ying. Yin and yang. Uh, bah, bah, bah. End of the world. It is the apocalypse. Not the end of the world if you have trouble with a crossword. Just takes practice. 
word before trader or tripper. Day trader, day trader, day tripper. Day tripper, as in as used in the Beatles song. Like a beanpole. Um, this could be sort of slangily referring to a human being thin or more literal, but let's let's look at the crosses for now. Tap offering. So this means a tap in a bar or a pub, a uh, ale, for instance. Embellish as a resume. If one pads one res one's resume, one sort of mm, bigs up your own accomplishments a little bit. Ice cream brand. Um, this is Edie's, uh, which I suspect is only in North America. That's my guess. Fires. Um, could be fires to let someone go. Could be fires in uh, lighting a fire. Well, here we go. Singer Erica. This is definitely Erica Badu, B-A-D-U. Um, and wood for piano keys once. Uh, ebony. Was it ebony and ivory? Was that what piano keys were made from? Inspiring the song, maybe? Or was that just unrelated? I don't know. But a bean pole, so it is a person being thin or lanky in this case. Uh, and, okay, so it is fires as in lets an employee go. So fires here is sacks. Hawaii Blank National Park. I'm actually not sure offhand, so let's keep looking at the crosses. Italy's Lake Blank. That would be Lake Como in Italy. Um, symbol of the goddess Justitia. I'm not sure, actually. A mountaineer's tool, blank. Well, it's certainly an axe, and it's probably an ice axe, I would say. So let's put that in for now. Animal that claps. Well, I think from sort of gifs and things online, I'm going to say this is a seal. Radio recording. A song? Uh, no, not a song. A picturesque view is a vista. A view from a beach resort. Ocean. Sorry, I don't know what I was, why well, that was such a brain freeze moment there. Uh, vaulted. So this would be, I mean, could be vaulted as in vaulting, vaulted ceilings, uh, sort of past tense noun, but it actually looks like, and the adjective, the, sorry, the, <laughs> just made a mess of that sentence. Uh, what I meant was, could have been vaulted as in vaulted ceilings, the adjective, in fact, what it is, is the verb leapt, you leapt. Social workers, um, well, this looks like ants. Radio recording, tape, ah, yes, tape. So, um, as in roll tape, play tape. Uh, oh, 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 of course. I don't know why this took me, why this wasn't more obvious. Symbol of the goddess Justitia. I didn't really think about the clue in the name, justice. Uh, so the scales of justice. And then we see here Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which seems entirely appropriate. And there's the puzzle. And I never even looked at that theme. I'm sorry. So let's go back and look at that. So face recognition. A hint to the ends of revitalize engineers, volcanoes, and apocalypse. What is this? Again, I apologize. I, my track record over the last couple days for correctly interpreting theme answers is not great. So what is this? Again, cannot apologize enough if you are yelling, e yelling at me through the screen. What does this mean? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry if you got here long before I did. I'm sorry. There are sort of homophonic fragments of these words that represent different components of the human face. So in revitalize, we've got eyes. In engineers, we've got ears. In volcanoes, we've got nose. And in apocalypse, we've got lips. So um, this is quite clever in that, essentially, we've got to sort of see through the words here to recognize the parts of the face. It's, it's, it's more clever than if 
uh, and then if those facial parts were actually spelled correctly and embedded inside longer words. I mean, that would also be quite clever and extremely impressive, but this is a very spot on, um, very spot on evocation of the theme answer here by forcing us to try and, and, and recognize these face uh, components through the, uh, the rest of the word. So very, very good. Well done, Jennifer Lee and Victor Galson. You definitely stumped me for a good, good solid moment there. So I'm relieved I eventually got it. I was starting to worry I was going to have to um, go look it up or something, but uh, nope, I just was a little bit slow. Um, I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. I thought it was a fun one. Uh, pretty straightforward, really nice theme. Um, some funny answers in there. Dog. I don't know that I've ever seen that in New York. I mean, maybe, maybe it has appeared in New York Times crossword. I don't remember seeing it very often, uh, if ever. But um, but that was fun. And just a great theme. I'll say it again. It was really good. I really liked cornet and oboe crossing each other. Always nice when that sort of thing happens. And then we've got Terra, as in terabyte, and file types, PDF, JPEG, and others side by side. Um, some good stuff. Some good stuff in this puzzle. And that nice face recognition theme. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're enjoying this series more broadly. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far and everyone who has spread the word to your friends or online acquaintances, wherever you may, wherever you may reside online in this e-world that we now disproportionately live in. And if you are appreciating this series and you have the inclination and ability to toss me a couple of quid or a few bucks to help me make this thing sustained, uh, going forward, then the link to my coffee page where I accept donations is in the description below. And please do subscribe. Please do pass on the word. With that, we'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, a uh, midweek Wednesday puzzle, uh, and a midweek challenge. And I hope you have an excellent Tuesday. With that, take care. <laughs>